forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to so Nestle Alpha 18. So I just finished dropping everything off and noticed we still have a ton of cash and stuff over here. So I don't know why I didn't grab all this stuff to sell. I mean all of this would have still fetched me quite a bit. Almost a thousand for just for these things together. So if I did that I might have 2.6 and I'd be able to get way more concrete mix. Um, but yeah, we, we won't need that for the horde anyways. I just also realized we don't have any stone to make more sand or be able to make concrete mix of our own anyways. So that's why I need better tools and stuff like that. But it's really tough getting going over here. We can go into minor 69 a bit. That's going to give us more better tools. But we still need to go even more into that to get even a higher level than that. I forgot what kind of a grind vanilla is. If you think that it's way easier just to do the, the mods. The mods are harder when it comes to zombies and survival. Oh wow. Um, harder when it comes to zombies and survival, but actually uh, tougher when it comes to getting resources and stuff like that. No wait, the mods are tougher with zombies, but easier with resources. <laughs> That's the right way around. Okay, so um, coming on the way back over here, when we passed a massive prison and stuff over there, I saw another shotgun place, and this is one of the bigger ones. So I want to see if I can quickly loot that, because there might just be, be some better guns over there. And then any building I come across that I know, for example, there's a building over in that direction, uh, the bear den, all that. We need to get the secret stash while we're there. I mean, it's easy just to go through the roof. And also, as you guys can see, I'm busy making spikes over here, bob fences, and yeah, I got, I got enough wood to actually basically make more bob fences and then the spikes over here. And then I'm making more of the turret ammo over here just in case zombies get onto the roof, so I have some backup. Okay, I'll really put away my bike upstairs so that should be okay let's quickly go so first off this direction where is that bear den if i can just quickly get that loot in there that's gonna save me so much time and trouble if i can get all the secret stash especially since we know we won't be able to play really far in the series because of alpha 19 we want be, we want to be able to get all the secret stashes that we want right now um i think if i'm not mistaken it's over here that i need to break through it's not right next to this because that's where the bears are gonna be it's right about here I can't exactly remember the exact location, but this is where the loot should be. You just need to line up more or less here, so it's going to be this block. This one over here. Okay, so if we break through here, there should be a secret stash in here. Let's hope there's no zombies waiting for me in there as well. We've actually been really unlucky when it comes to resources and um, tools and stuff. Usually by now I'd have looted like a steel pickaxe or proper pick that I can just use. Iron, normal, even normal iron pick. They could just at least use to get more resources. Okay, doesn't seem to be a zombie here. Let's just drop down without making too much noise. There you go. Please don't wake up from me looting this. Let's see. Ooh, better armor. Okay. Weapons bag. Uh, yeah, the zombie heard me. At least we got a grenade just now. Just do this. Come on, come on, come on. There are bears in this place as well, so you need to be careful. And we just jump out of here. So see, if we can go all the secret stashes like so, it'll be way easier in the end. Transient, holy star. I, I don't even know these places. This is a new PRI. There might just be some secret stashes in there, but for now we just need to make sure we get the gun stuff. It's a shame I don't have that auger. If I had the auger, at least I could go for the 12 iron chest before the horde. If I had that, I, I know I would have gotten some awesome weapons and armor in there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to spawn myself in an auger or anything like that, so we're playing by the book. Ooh. Paper storage so up there, also some secret loot. Just quickly go for that. If we can bypass everything to get all the stuff we need, why not? I uh, need to be careful though for the zombies in this place. Because as soon as I start jumping like this, they can and will follow you. And also there is a bird upstairs, so let's just do this. You have the ammo? Yes. There's definitely a vulture upstairs, so you need to watch out for that now. Hopefully I can get a better quality. Um, AK. So focused on the zombies and stuff over here. Okay, so I should probably first put on my... Goggle. Okay, there's no zombies over here. Let's just quickly use the goggles then. We need to switch between these. I have these now because I want to level up and get more skill points before the horde. Okay, let's see. Ammo. There should be an ammo pile there as well. No, damn it. We don't need any more of these. Scrap, read. This uh, shotgun that's going to help us a little bit with the horde. There's an ammo pile right there. And what kind of box is this? Also shotgun messiah. Okay, so if I hit this now, the vultures should come and the zombies should come as well. There's a zombie in there, so it's weird that it's not responding. Okay, take, please, 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 and crap. Okay, so as long as we can get all the secret stashes like this quickly, we should be able to get quite a bit done. 
And watch out, my leg is sprained. I don't actually need to break my leg as well. So I should probably first go onto the roof and see if we can take out those zombies because they're the biggest problem. You don't want to be busy inside and then all of a sudden zombies from the side of here end up breaking your legs or ambushing you. Okay, any vultures up here? Is that just a, tra a piece of trash or is that a zombie actually? I have no idea. I think that's just trash. Okay, we need to make sure all the zombies up here are done at least as well. Now this could actually also be a nice roof to use, but I think there's still just one ladder, right? Come on, there you go. I need to kill you. Oh, and before I kill you, you should probably also wear this. Oh, thank you. I want the most amount of XP. I'll get about 100 more XP wearing the glasses. Okay, I just want to see how tall this ladder is, how big it is, what the kind of situation of here is. Um, wait, where's the ladder? This side. Right in the middle, okay. It's nice and open. I wonder if I shouldn't be using this one then. As a horde, uh, as a horde defense, instead of the one next door. I don't, I don't want to destroy this. In case Alpha, something happens with Alpha 19 and we don't get experimental, I want to be able to continue the series for a bit. So I think for now, instead of shotgun, we're going to say horde. Okay, so by horde night, we just need to make sure we get over here. Uh, in the, not in the nick of time, we need to get you in here long before the time so we can just set up all the spikes and uh, barbed wire and stuff. I don't want to set it up now. Big reason being, random zombies are going to walk past and end up destroying everything. You don't want them uh, breaking all the barbed fences and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm first going to clear the zombies so I can wear my lady gl uh, glasses. And then as soon as all the zombies are dead, I'll wear my lucky looter glasses. So, I should probably also pick up all my frames over here. This is such a waste to leave them like this. Like so, thank you. Should be able to pick up most of these. Whoops, that almost crushed me. I do not want any fall damage, thank you, or cave-in damage. Now, let's see how many of you guys respond from this noise. Boom. Knock, knock. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we'll wait for them to break through over here. I don't want to place my turret until they start wailing on the door, because otherwise it's just going to shoot through the iron bars over here. Okay. Come on, you should break this easily. Any more? Any more? Any more? Let's see if I can get all their attention and get them around this place. Although, if I can kill them without doing so, then all the better. Any more zombies? Hello? Two shots to the head, although it was so... I think I wasn't focused enough. That's why she actually managed to survive two shots to the head. Okay, if I can get more secret stashes, guys, I need to be able to make sure that I'm ready for this horde. That if it's a crappy horde, I can start the horde over without having to worry, oh sh uh, like, oh shit, I'm not going to be able to survive this. Okay, so this is just where a uh, gun safe is. There's just one zombie waiting in there for us. Okay, and more over here. Hello, hello, and hello. Yeah, I need to stop wasting shots. I want to be able to use as many guns as possible during the horde. You want to make sure you don't accidentally use up all your ammo in one gun and then you don't have any guns left to defend yourself. Okay, so there should be some sleepers in here. No, 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 I thought I swapped the guns. Hello? What are you doing? Come on. I know you want to fall down over here. I'll help you down then. Guys, don't put here. She's... Well, no, don't... Get it wrong, she's the, I want to say, she's the elderly, I have to help her. But I messed that up just now. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can quickly get into this room. Um, no idea how many zombies are waiting for me in there. And that should be enough. And come on, stop, 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 stop. Ooh, need to reload, that was bad. I hate it when I have to reload at the worst times. Okay, so we don't have any pulls or anything like that. Um, there's a shame there's no pull shop. No, I think there is, that galleria thing right next to the base. That's a pull shop. Yes, thank you. That's going to come in handy. Don't need that. Just need to make sure we have enough repair kits to repair our AK that we have. Let's grab that one. That's not eatable. Okay, let's start with the one side and then work our way through the uh, uh, aisles of here. I'm going to say through the shelves, but it's aisles. Shotgun we have. This one we can repair and sell. Nothing else over here. I need to make sure I check up here as well. Sometimes there are cr uh, crates up here and I just look past them. It's easy to miss 
guns and then later on you'd regret not being able to loot it. Just now there's like a bazooka or anything. Oh, something like that. The grenade launcher. Oh, not grenade. Rocket launcher. Let's see, let's see. And that's actually crappy loot for this place. I need to actually make myself or get myself some coffee as well. So that if I need to run during the ward night, I can just run. I don't have to worry about running out of stamina, running away from the zombies. At least this isn't like Darkest Falls. There's other... Uh, um, bikes still work during a whole day. Okay, ooh, ton of gun parts, but nothing else really. Let's see, AK. AK. That is locked behind Machine Gunner. Okay, I want to check that. I can only make a level 1. So I need to go into Machine Gunner. Machine Gunner actually increases the quality of it as well. Uh, that's under Agility over here, I think. No. Health machine gun over here. So, see, but now I need skill points to get that up as well. To be able to make a proper quality AK, you need... Uh, you, first, you need a skill in this. That's going to give you a level 2 one. So, it's going to be the um, the orange one, like the turret, uh, turret over here. Then level 3, then 4, is, which is green. Then 5, which is blue. And then purple, which is 6, I think. Or did I just add a color? <laughs> I don't even know. I think I added a color. But anyways, um, yeah, I think level 6 is the purple. You can actually loot it. But if I can get that high enough, I might be able to make myself an AK for the Horde. A better quality one that I can put some mods on. Um, what do you need to make it? Machine gun parts? We have enough. Yeah, we should be able to make ourselves one. So if I can dump a few points in there before the Horde, I don't know if I'll have enough time though, but if I can get at least to level 3 perhaps. And also the machine gunner perk increases damage as well. 5% uh, faster fire rate, 10% faster reload, and 10% more damage. So the higher this is, the more damage your AK does. But we need to get level 3 to get the next one unlocked, it seems. So hopefully we get a uh, level up enough, uh, enough from the zombies. And now... Oh, I didn't wear the right goggles. That was such a waste just now. I even uh, had the goggles on me in case I needed to do that just now. Damn it. So I could have actually gotten some go uh, good guns if I had the right... Look at that. Green quality. If I had the right goggles, I might have been able to get some awesome loot. Okay, so let's see what the safe holds. There shouldn't be any zombies. Let's just do this in case. And keep the gun in hand should we get surprised. And I just used up all my lockpicks trying to open this thing. All of them just went tick 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 tick. It just kept failing. I hate it when that happens. Now I have to wail this uh, on this until it opens and that takes time as well. Guys, I wonder if with the ammo we have at the moment, we'll be able to get the secret stash on like the Igashi Tower or the other uh, Cracker Book Tower or stuff like that. If we can get those secret stashes, that's going to be awesome. I just need to make sure I'm actually wearing the right goggles when I'm looting. I want the XP when killing zombies, that's why I wear the nerdy goggles, and then I have to switch to the lucky looter goggles when I'm actually looting stuff. I just need to remember to do that, and hopefully before the horde I can make my AK. If I can put two mods on there, at least, then you know we'll be able to get some good shots off. Um, throw that away. We do technically need stone, so I shouldn't be throwing it away, but we do need space. And pick this up. Okay, so let's just have this one on in case you need to face zombies, and at least we have our mini bike. So we should be able to dump a few things in there, just make sure my food and drink are high enough. Should probably be also looting these, but I mean, they only give beer and they don't even give the mineral water, the purified water. And that's the kind of water we need to not get the sentry. Okay, so there's two gun safes in there, but like uh, now I only have the, the uh, sledgehammer left. So it's going to take forever to break in there. Okay, this we need to keep on us, so I can remember it's there. Scrap this one. This, what do we have on us? Level 1. Okay, so do that. I want to keep all the stuff we're going to use during the horde on one side. So I'm going to do this so I know exactly where it is. And 7.62 ammo. Guys, we'll definitely have enough ammo. I just hope the horde is strong enough for us. Okay, so the rest of the stuff just need a little bit more space, but I don't really know what I want to dump right now. Let's see what else I can find over here. There needs to be more pure eyes. I could have sworn I also uh, passed the meat packing pure eye, where there's loot in the roof itself. The only problem is it's so dark at the moment, I can't really see all the pure eyes out here. So I might just pass something really awesome without even noticing it. Oh no, we're coming uh, across it right now. Is this one to the right? There's actually some good loot in the roof. Um, which side is it? I think this side. 
If I can jump up there and just bypass all the zombies. There's a hole in the roof, right? I know it's up there somewhere. Okay, let's just first kill the zombie. Bye bye. During the night, we're going to get a ton of levels. With 300% damage. Oh, this one's running. With 300% uh, XP, with the XP goggles, and with the learning elixir, we're going to get a ton of XP. Okay, so that is just a Shamway Foods. It seems to be an itty bitty one. And now we just need to get up here quickly. It's inside the roof of your. I just need to get in there. Um, I just hope I can get in there without calling too much attention to myself. No, this is the wrong side. It needs to be on the side where the fire escape is. I think it's on the other side, on the east side of here. Right, so this is a normal prison. There's nothing in there as far as I'm aw oh, aware. Hello. Okay, so that just gave me the goosebumps. Damn. As far as I know, the prison doesn't have any good. Oh, no, it does. It does have gun safes and stuff. But once again, we don't have anything to open it up with. If it only has gun safes, there's no way we can actually get all that stuff out. Um, if we had an auger, yeah, definitely. Then it'd be worth actually going to all the gun safes we know of and just quickly getting all the loot in there. Okay, so there's zombies inside this roof of here. Or we can just bypass that and go for the roof itself of here. The loot is right inside of here, so we just need to grab it. Hello, lady. Whoops. Oh, you almost destroyed that, didn't you? Oh, I accidentally hit you just now. Are you going to take offense? Uh, one more power attack to the head. Oh, wow. It's... Oh, yes, she dropped. Okay, so food we don't really need right now, but let's just get this out of the way. Let's just hope she doesn't go for our frames underneath us. Okay, so we're going to need a ton of rifles, but we don't need that. Oh, I need to put this on. That's going to help with reload speeds of all guns. So especially since we're going to face the water and we need to be able to reload, we need it. Okay, so I think the zombie's coming around somehow. Hope that's not the case. We should be able to sell that if we get a chance to sell it. And let's go. Okay, let's just hope they don't break the frames underneath us. It's actually very easy for them to do so. Okay, so if we had an auger, we can get the safes in here. I wonder if I should try... Oh, whoa, whoa. You just give me a fried big boy. Hello, doggy. Okay, I thought the dog was right behind me just now. That's why I jumped. Yeah, but if I can get onto the Gashi Tower and get the secret stash over there, I think it's on the tip-top roof, right? I can't really exactly remember where the secret stashes for those uh, buildings are. They might be inside. And if they're inside, I don't know if it's going to be worth going in there. Um, where's my bike? That is just a fact. Remember that I thought it was a cop. The way this guy walks and the cop walks is exactly the same. So if you see something walking like that, and they make the same noise as a cop. Just watch out and be careful. Okay, ton of zombies over here. Let's get some XP. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, there's some secret stash in there as well on the roof. Um, I remember there's a ton of hazmat people in there. So if I can get all that loot, it's going to come in handy. Okay, something just fell off the roof over there. Okay, let's quickly go to this roof over here. Let's hope there's no more vultures and stuff waiting for us. Hello, you followed me all the way from down there. Nice. Good for you. Okay, so. Uh, get up here quickly. If I can actually manage to hit it. And up. And... Oh, I was I, I thought I might be able to just quickly make this jump over here. Okay, so we're going to have to do this then. Be able to get up here. Any zombies on this level? They are over there. I need to be careful that they don't get, uh, get to me. And then, as you guys can see, there's zombies over here as well. So I need to stack up. Jump over. Hello, Vulture. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. Okay, so they all pull stuff over here. I wonder if there's any chest as well. I want guns. I want ammo. Ooh, hello. I don't want to get infected, so I'm very careful of how I'm shooting and where I'm shooting. Okay, there's a guy over here as well. Is he underneath or... Yeah, he has to be underneath. I can't remember if there's a way for them up or not. I think it's yeah, it's using this. But there's no secret stash. I wonder if it's inside then. This place has to have some special loot, as far as I remember. Okay, let's try and see if we can go down then. Just kill this guy quickly. Thank you, and more loot? No, okay. 
Well, at least we can kill these zombies quite easily. So we don't have to worry about that. But I want the secret stash. I can't remember if this place has or doesn't have. At least we are getting some ammo, so I shouldn't complain. Hello? Hello? Oh, I can't afford to reload when he's in my face. Reload, reload, reload. The, the zombies always appear in the least opportune time. When you really can't afford to have them with you, they're with you. At least I hope there's no more dogs over here. I know sometimes there's dogs in these rooms. Hello. Oh, hello! You just gave me a fright. Just popped out of it like it was nothing. Okay, so let's see. Gun safe. Yeah, let's open. Let's open up. There might just be some awesome loot in there. It's just a shame we don't have an auger or any more lockpicks. Or just something that can do a real, uh, or just uh, mini charges, the um, time charges. If we can have something like that to help us open up over here. That's why I can't wait for Alpha 19, guys. You're going to have a turret that you can place down and it's going to be able to hit, like melee. So it should technically be able to do um, blunt damage, uh, block damage as well. So it should help you open up a safe. You can just put it in front of a safe, turn it on, and then it should work. It's like a battering ram, but a turret. Okay, so before I loot, let's just do that to make sure we get the best loot. And not bad, but not great. Okay, so do this. Do this. Do that. Okay, so. I wonder if there's any other secret stashes or anything like that. It doesn't seem like it. I could get those, but there's no guns in there. I just want guns and ammo at the moment. Okay, um, like I was saying, I wonder if the tower actually has loot in it. I know that over there. What's that? Is that the bear den? I wonder. That looks like a pure eye that also might... I think that might be the pawn shop. I can't remember if I've been there or not yet. Since we're going in this direction, I'm guessing that was the a bear shop. I shouldn't guess. I should actually go check it out. But we don't have time to just dilly-dally over here. We need to hurry. Okay, so any more pure eyes that I know for sure is going to have a ton of loot. I think over here there's a secret stash on the roof. I just can't remember one, which of these pure eyes I've already been to and which I haven't. Which makes this really tough. So this is the dog store, right? This is where the dogs are. Which means the loot should be on this side. Okay. This is definitely the dog, whatever, dog parlor, whatever it's called. I think I'm climbing up on the wrong side. I'm supposed to climb on the other side, the south side. I know, it is the right side. Okay, cool. Um, there's going to be dogs over here, so let's just keep our turret at the ready to help slow them down. And hopefully there's not a, a, too many vultures over here. Actually, as you can see, there's a vulture right, sitting right over there. So that's what we need to be careful of, that and the dogs over there. So do that. And I'll just shoot that one, and then... You do fall off. Okay, I'm not going to complain for you falling off. Oh, no, you didn't fall off. Ooh, it's a good thing I checked, because I wanted to jump down here. No, 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 no. Um, where are these? Please give me something good. Aww. I wonder if it already took uh, the moment I tried to open it the first time. Damn it. Okay, I need to remember to put on the right goggles. See, if it wasn't for the fact that I want to level up, I wouldn't have to wear these dirty glasses. Which means I wouldn't get confused. Okay, so... I'm really curious to see if I can actually get Secret Stash on there. But just now I stack all the way to the top and there's no Secret Stash. And I just wasted my time. Okay, so I should be able to go down here. Yeah, don't break your leg. There's a massive pure eye over here. What is this place? Is this just the, the food shop I just saw? The um, What is this? Let's see. What is this? What is this? Theater. It's a massive theater. Damn. Okay, now I want to see what this place is. Uh, this prison over here. Uh, this is a massive prison. So who knows? Perhaps there's some actually awesome loot in there. It's a massive, gigantic prison. And there are tunnels at the other side. I wonder if I should have entered from that side. Where can I find secret stashes and stuff? I wonder if this place even has some secret stashes. Any guards? Any soldiers? Any, anything over here? Need to make sure you check out everything. Just now there's some gun piles or secret stashes or hidden stashes or something. Okay, and we do need space. Um, we are getting encumbered like crazy at the moment. And that's something we cannot afford to let happen. Okay, so am I still encumbered? By one item, but at least I'm a little bit faster now. It doesn't seem like I can get in over here, it's just the watchtower. 
Okay, so, um, can I see through these rooms? There's a ton of gun safes, I think, but I don't think there's like a secret stash or a hidden stash or anything like that. Unfortunately. And once again, it's a, it's a question about being able to break open whatever there is. Those might be gun boxes, but I can't afford to take a chance and then it's not. Oh wow, we can get into the towers like this. Okay, so there might some, be some more zombies in here. I need to watch out. This might just be like a massive dungeon. Let's actually go try and see what is down there. Let's hope we don't get swarmed by too many zombies now. This needs to be closed. Wait, that door is so weird just now. Okay, so while we're down here, we can just all check those boxes and see what they are exactly. If they're gun boxes, I might have some ammo. If they're not, uh, garage storage, nope. Oh, ammo! I forgot that these also can give you ammo, nice. Okay, so that's the garden or the rec area. Recreational area. Um, over here, more zombies. I should actually have explored from the tunnel side. I saw that tunnel and driving past during the night, so it might be that there's like a secret room or secret exit, or perhaps that's where the secret stash is, the last stash. Ooh, ooh, munitions chests. Um, once again, John, where the correct stuff? You need to watch out for zombies swarming me now because there's a ton of zombies everywhere. They're trying to get down to me. If I'm not mistaken, the tower that uh, one skater boy is at now, that's where I came from. Where's my bike? Oh no, I came from that side. I was wondering how all of a sudden is he here when he wasn't there before? Okay, so if I can kill all of these, just quickly loot the munitions chests, at least I'll get some ammo. And the more 762 rounds I get, the better. The, uh, I mean, we already have two stacks. I need like three or four stacks of this hoard. I'm not expecting the hoard to be that big, but I am expecting to, if the hoard is boring or small, just jack it up to as much as possible. Ooh, thank you. Okay, anything over here? You make sure there's nothing that I'm missing over here. There might be some extra secret stashes or secret loot or something. I should have actually dumped everything on my bike before even attempting this. Because now I'm so encumbered, I don't know if I'm going to have enough stamina to get through this place in time. And we need to get back to that shop to place all the spikes and stuff. Okay, this is unlocked. So we should be able to get in through here. Okay, so this is like the recreational area the, where they go for the breaks, I think. This is a massive prison. There should be a guard room. I wonder if the guard room perhaps is like some gun boxes. How did I miss every single shot just now? She's moving so slowly, but I missed every single shot I took. Imagine actually getting stuck in this place. I think that would suck so bad right now. Okay, so these are the cells. And okay, so I don't think there's any more secret stashes to this place. But I am wondering, or rather curious, to see where that one tunnel leads out from. Reload. At least they're not running. Some of them are sometimes really fast for no reason. Just to make sure they're not fast for any reason while I'm reloading. Run, 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 run. Okay, biker boy, you are tough. Let's just shoot like so. You get as many of those power shots in before. Okay, now, I'm guessing the further in you go, the tougher the zombies get. I don't want to get lost here. <laughs> I just turn back. This place is too big to loot right now. Guys, I am so regretting the fact that we didn't try this earlier. We have to have the backpack mod, the nitrogen uh, map, and then also the combo pack. If we had all of that, we didn't even have to do so many series on Where's UK and Darkness Falls. We could have done a series on this as well. Then it's more or less, uh, more, li uh, li more or less like um, vanilla, but it's just a little bit better. A little bit. I just need to get out of here without dying. My bike is this. I should be able to jump over there. I want to drive around quickly and just check out that tunnel. I know there is definitely for a fact a tunnel out here somewhere. If I can find that tunnel, that might just lead me to another secret stash or something. Okay, so I wonder if there's more of these piles and there's more munitions chests that I actually missed just now. But if, the, if not, that's okay. Okay, so we need to end up this side. This side, and we should be able to jump and don't fall, don't break anything. Now, there's a tunnel over here somewhere. Which side was it? I'm going to have to drive around. I'm way too encumbered. First, I need to dump a few things so I'm not encumbered, and then drive around. Ooh. 
Oh, there's also a new kind of fire, st uh, st fire station. 21st? What? 21st? 21st. <laughs> Volunteer Fire Department. It's 21st, dude. Okay, there's a ton of bodies out here. That's really, really creepy. Man, all these custom pure eyes. Uh, it has to be player built. Run, 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 run. Way too slow. But yeah, I really hope they added the dump all option. But why can modders... Why are they able to change the game, but the actual developers of the game don't do it? It's like they don't know how to do it without breaking the game, but there are modders that do it every single day. Yeah, please tell me there's some secret loot over here somewhere in this tunnel. Just need to find the tunnel first. I wonder if this room I just passed, if that was a, um, the security room. See, there's a tunnel over here, so someone dug out. Someone tried to escape the prison. I just need to check this out. Perhaps there's something awesome. If not, then it's a little bit of time wasted. But if there is, imagine there's actually a secret stash over here. It looks like the prison is... This might just be like a um, sewer system. Like there's nothing actually good over here. But if this leads into the prison, there might just be some awesome loot. Some secret stashes and stuff. Okay, let's go up here. The way this is built is rather weird though. Yeah, this does lead into the prison over here. But as far as I can see, there's no special loot or anything like that. But guys, I'm just going to call an episode here. I'm going to head to the base, drop everything off. And then we need to go to the um, shotgun uh, messiah uh, shop. I want to say factory. We need to go to that shop because we need to set up all those spikes and bob fences and prepare for the horde. I'm actually thinking of making the horde like a two-hour day horde. Because remember, it's the first day, so... I don't think we're going to get a ton of zombies. But at least with 2 day, the horde should be long enough so that I can restart it if the horde is weak. If you restart on horde night, you should get the horde again, I think. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Is there actually some extra special loot in there that I missed? So, uh, let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for all this content. See you guys next time as we face this horde. And then after that, hopefully for Alpha 19.